Ender Dragon fight has come at last. I was making sure I was defeating those end crystals one by one and as quick as I can. But soon to be, I was going to make a brutal mistake. I fell off the edge and was on one heart, but couldn't catch myself. I had deployed my first totem up and dying. All I had was two end crystals left and I built up as fast as I could to get them. They couldn't have come quicker and the dragon fight was getting even closer. The last end crystal had been destroyed and the dragon fight had begun. I end up straight in there with no hesitation and started dealing the dragon some critical head attacks. But this was not enough. The dragon was kicking me about like I was a football, like I was nothing to him. With my food supplies running low, I knew I was in trouble. It was bad enough the dragon was attacking me, Endermen started forming out of nowhere. With half a heart and no food, I knew this was not going to be easy. One false move and I was a goner. This was going to be a tough one. I started to go all guns blazing attacking the Ender Dragon and I thought the fight was over. But no, the totem let me live another day. I knew I had one last chance to defeat him and with one calculated hit, the fight was over. But that was it. I had done it. I had defeated him. I couldn't believe it. I was a hero. Superman. I was a hero to my friends and my villagers. I collected all the XP to get a whopping 67 levels and jump back home. I was so glad to be back home and I think I deserve myself a little nap. Day 108 was not long coming by and I decided to eat a pork chop as a celebratory dinner. I then made a bed in hope that my villagers would make a baby and give some bamboo to my panda. I collected all the dirt out of my chest and decided now was the time to expand my farm in order just to get more food sources as in the ender dragon fight I ran out of food very quickly so I feel like this was a good idea and it is beneficial for me. I then just secured off so I don't fall off and lose all my levels. At nightfall I collected my sugar cane and made paper, this would become useful later in the video. And for the final hours of day 109 I just harvested my farm. Day 110 I decided to make some extra bookshelves so we can get the enchantment table up and ready. And when I go to check on my villagers I noticed that there was a baby villager lying on the bed and the panda must have been protecting him and this just looked funny. So I decided to make myself a lectern in order to get some enchantment books for when the villager grows up. Look at him jumping on the bed up and down. <laughs> when the villager finally had grown up I decided to place the lectern in order to get some enchants. It did did take a few times as you can see Frostwalker but eventually we did get mending which is what I wanted. And day 111 all I really did was harvest my trees. This was so I could get sticks and get some more emeralds in order to obtain this mending book and eventually we were able to get it after a good few trades. As you can see I collected my emeralds, got myself a spare book and traded and got the mending book. This was going to be so useful. I also put it in a stand to commemorate our first good trade. Day 113 I decided I wanted to find an end city and get the elytra and some more shulker boxes but this was soon to be a very stupid idea. After travelling for a really really long time, over a thousand blocks, building my way over to different islands and using my last ender pearls, eventually as I was walking through, endermen started to attack me out of nowhere and they were dealing some great damage. I had to get out of there somehow. I didn't think I was going to survive and as I was running away thinking I was safe, two endermen just jumped me and there's 67 levels that we worked hard for gone. I thought enough was enough and it was time to build my enchantment room. Day 120, I placed my enchantment table and got all the bookshelves that I had and I placed them down. I was going to add to this later as I needed to collect all the resources. The rest of day 120 was just a maintenance day. All I did really was collect wood and harvest my farm. Not really much to it, but at least I got some food. And on the morning of day 121, I tended to my cows and look how many we've got now. And during the day, I realized I wanted to make a mob spawner. So I got all my resources together and decided to make it.
day 124 I got to building my mob spawner. I did a 4x4 with some hoppers and built 21 blocks high and I did some MLG water bucket tricks while I was at it and as you can see the tower was quite big and then all of a sudden a spider just started attacking me out of nowhere. I fell in this tribe of zombies and died but I didn't really mind even though there was five skeletons burning in my hut and started shooting me with arrows I didn't really care. Then I decided to make the brave choice of running to get my items with all these mobs, but it was unfortunate, and we went back to fighting with this skeleton. It, with the wooden sword, it was surprisingly harder than I thought, but what can you do? I then just decided to repair the broken bits that the creepers had exploded on and place torches so the mobs would not spawn there anymore. I then got some arrows just so I could protect myself and then got back to building the mob spawner. This took me a lot longer than expected because I had limited resources and I had to keep building back up to the mob spawner and then breaking that structure down. But it was well worth it in the end as it was practically like an XP merchant. That's what it looked like from the distance. It was massive. And then I just had to keep using my cobblestone generator to get some cobble just to keep going as I had very, very few resources and I had to change up the block at some points because I just didn't have enough and it was just taking too long and I tried to MLG water bucket but that failed and then we were back using the cobblestone generator and I just got sick of mining so I just used these spare blocks I had which I really had no purpose for and then back to the cobblestone generator and then finally it was starting to take shape I was building the barriers on the outside and getting ready to build the roof there I've got literally end city stone stuck in there but and then the roof is being put on and as you can see it works the jiffy they don't die but they're all one hit but that, that i don't really mind because a wooden sword can take them all out and then i tended to my cows look how many we've got i also had to build back up to the mob spawner to fix something that was broken in it so as i was mining through if i can get through a creeper came and i just jumped down to save myself and a skeleton she came and shot me but that didn't really dampen my spirits as I saw my iron golem somehow I got to the roof of my villager hut. So I just started to attack these mobs, you know, test out my bow accuracy and I could tell you to say that I'm actually getting better. Look, I hit every shot there and the creeper's jumping and I timed it to perfection. So when day 140 came about, I decided to enchant my netherite pickaxe and oh my god, efficiency 5, fortune 3 and unbreaking 3. This is a god tier pickaxe and this little snow fox said if you do not subscribe right now you'll have bad luck for the next 10 years. So I went back and I was testing my bow accuracy again and my accuracy is going up to 100%. Nah, I'm just kidding. I was trying to get to level 36 as you will see in the next day. These levels will come in handy as I was going to craft a diamond sword because I'd lost mine in the void and uh, I was going to enchant my diamond sword armor and stuff like that. So I got smite 5 and fire aspect 2 which was pretty poop. Fire protection on breaking three, I think that's pretty poop, and fire protection on breaking three. So those three enchantments were pretty stinky for level 30 enchantments. So I went and made a lectern for my baby villager that had finally grown up on that first enchantment was poop. So I went to break the lectern and all of a sudden the lectern just, when I place it down, it disappears. Like it's nowhere to be seen. And this made me so angry, literally using a resource. But I logged back out of the game and then back in and then it appeared in my inventory again. So it's obviously just a bug with the game. And we managed to get sweeping edge, which is what I wanted. But unfortunately, I could not afford this book. But anyway, I decided to start to expand the villagers home because they were getting quite cramped. I used some quartz and endstone just to make a nice little pattern design and then some wood to fill out the outside. And then I broke the glass just to make the entrance quicker and this was going to be one of my biggest mistakes yet. Life. At nightfall, I went to go and check on my villagers and there's a skeleton. So I look around and my villagers are nowhere to be seen. The skeleton had killed all of them. So I took my rage out all the mobs and I died again. It wasn't worth living without my villagers. But anyway, I decided to make a sugar cane farm. Mm. 
day 156 a monster party decided to erupt and disturb my inner peace in this island but it wasn't too bad as majority of them fell into the end portal because there was gaps and i just took out this spider with my pickaxe which wasn't too difficult and then when it broke i had to use my fists Anyway, I decided I wanted to make some end crystals because I really wanted to go fight the ender dragon again because I had a twist of the tail. I wanted to fight the ender dragon and the wither at the same time. So I decided to be best protected and get myself some netherite armor and tools because this was going to be my best chance to defeat the ender dragon and the wither. So as usual, I went down to my little area and decided to mine some ancient debris. I found some eventually. This took me quite a few days to get because I was tunnel mining, which was stupid because I had TNT in my chest that I didn't think to bring. But anyway, we were able to find this ancient debris all around the place, which wasn't too difficult, but it was definitely a hand and we were managed to get 13 ancient debris which meant we can make three ingots with all the scraps right away i got to smelting the ancient debris and got 13 netherite scraps and then i decided to make the sand into glass so we could get prepared to make these end crystals i turned the scraps into three netherite ingots and then i ran over to my smithing table and i turned my sword into a netherite sword Guys, with this next part, I am so, so sorry. The footage that I recorded had corrupted from like 15 days worth, but I'm sorry. Not much had happened really. I just really went and gained all my experience back and did some maintenance and stuff. Day 187, I turned my netherite sword into a sharpness 3 and breaking 3 sword, which I didn't think was too bad. And I got prepared to fight the ender dragon and the wither in this next battle i collected all my ender pearls got my wither skulls and got the all the sand and tools i needed i collected my arrows and jumped right in and as i went in there was a massive swarm of enemies that had dropped from the block so i ender pearled away and i ender pearled a second time just to get as far away one heart that is how close i was to dying straight away and that would have been embarrassing I climbed out of the little tunnel and I decided to collect myself some endstone in case I needed to barricade myself. Once I collected my endstone, I placed the end crystals one by one and I got ready to place the final crystal. The dragon was here. All those flares were not appealing to the eye as each one took each tower and then the dragon spawned. I knew this battle was not going to be as easy as the last. I built up and decided to break each crystal one by one. After I destroyed the second one, I realised I had arrows. So, with my first shot, I was able to hit an end crystal. And then, I was able to do damage to the dragon while shooting that other crystal. Each shot was being hit one by one, and I climbed up to the cages and was able to destroy the last couple of crystals. And with a very accurate bow shot, the last crystal was destroyed. I was ready to fight the ender dragon. I started to take calculated ticks and make sure that he was getting hit in the head for full damage. In the first stint of the battle, I was able to deal almost half the damage from the dragon. This was already going my way. I was taking some calculated bow shots from the ground and still swooping at his head any chance that I got. These hits were very critical. I needed to make sure I was getting them on point. I started shooting the dragon with my arrow and I was able to get a few good hits. And then the last time the dragon came out, I knew I wanted to finish this battle in style. So once I started hitting the dragon with some very nice solid hits to the head and I wanted to finish this battle with a bow shot. And then with one swing of the bow, it was over. The ender dragon was defeated, but that was the least of my worries right now. I knew I had a whole other battle commencing in the next few moments. Once I grabbed my XP, I placed down the soul sand and I was getting ready for another war. The wither heads were being placed one by one. And he was here. The wither was here. And I knew this was not going to be an easy battle. I tried to fire bow shots at him in order to gain his attention, but he was attacking Enderman right beside me, practically his own people. But I ran in all guns blazing trying to fight the wither, but my sword was not long enough to reach him. He started shooting at me with his little skulls, and I knew that I was in trouble. I tried to take some bow shots at him, but I accidentally hit an Enderman instead, so I enderpearled away, 
and I knew I was in trouble. It was bad enough that the witherers attacking me Enderman started to deal some great damage to me. I knew that this was not a safe place. I had to run away and eat in order to regenerate my health and I ran back into the battle fighting the wither but these Endermen were just getting in my way. It was so annoying. Anyway, I decided to take some more bow shots at the wither as he goes down and looks like he's sort of hiding and I get some one accurate shot on him. I am still trying to hammer him from the distance with my bow so I decided enough was enough and decided to run in with my sword. As soon as I got close to him, Enderman, again, what are they doing? I'm trying to defeat him, literally I'm helping you guys, but he was gone. I don't know where he went. He had tr looked like he had trapped himself. So instead of holding back and keeping my position, possibly going home and surviving, I decided to go and check what the weather was doing. Curiosity got the better of me and I ran over to see where he was and he was underneath the little block over there. So I started to take bow shots from him but he was too far in. I decided to end upon myself over here and break a little block so I could attack him from above but my sword could not reach and as soon as I broke an extra block he came through and pushed me and just fell into the void and I was unable to throw my ender pearl and I died. This was a sad day. This was a day I did not want to remember. All my hard work and dedication that has taken me almost 200 days, all that time and effort had gone to waste. All the nether trips to get the debris. It was a sad time. My panda decided to give me a hug to comfort me as I wasn't feeling at my best. Thank you guys for watching 200 days on one block. The support on these videos have been absolutely amazing. Almost 4,500 views on my last video. It, the, the support has been absolutely insane and I cannot thank you enough. If we can reach 100 subscribers after this video is uploaded, I will do a giveaway, a massive giveaway. I'll give away vouchers for any type of console you want. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next.